So we had the option this year of choosing which professional learning group we wanted to participate in. Um, and being able to choose was really nice because we could look at each category and figure out how it would fit in with our grade level or department and um, you know what curriculum area it would make the most sense in for us to try. So what was nice about that is that when you're trying something new, you have an option to at least, you know, um, see what's going to work best for you at that time. So and, and then working with the other teachers, when we would meet in a group setting, we could kind of bounce ideas off of each other because at least for me, I was overthinking what it was. And then when I would hear what they were doing or hear their, see their examples, I'm thinking to myself, oh, we do this all the time. Okay. You just never put that title on it. So you're doing a lot of it without even realizing, but kind of gives you a newfound confidence when you know you see what other people are doing and realize you can expand upon it even more. So. I thought it was great being able to pick the topic because we got a bunch of selections to look through and then I was like, I know nothing about digital storytelling, so I'm gonna pick that one. And, and then you know we met a couple times throughout the year, but also we had discussions online, which was nice getting to hear what other teachers' input was. I was like, oh, I never thought of it that way. So there was the freedom you know, you could be sitting at home and, you know, read what other teachers said and type your own response. So that was really nice being able to communicate with the members outside of school and then just meet a couple times during the year because teachers' schedules are very busy, so we don't always have the time to meet all the time. But it was just, it was flexible being able to do it in this format this year.